on Wednesday, February 5th, 2025, Jenkins LTS 2.492.1 was released. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all the changes that occurred in that release. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Darren Pope. I'm a developer advocate with CloudBees, and along with me, as always, I have Mark Waite. Mark, how are you doing? Great, Darren. Thanks. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. Yet another new LTS, new.1. Right. Yep. I don't know why. I, I mean, every time, every four weeks is an LTS, but to me, this is a new, new LTS. Right. New baseline. Yep. And of course, nothing happened in this one, right? <laughs> well, there's some good stuff. I like it. Good stuff. Okay. So before we get into it, just in case people are new here and they don't understand the processes of well, what is an LTS, what does that mean? I just run Jenkins. Uh, why don't you go ahead and explain to us what a Jenkins LTS is or just the whole Jenkins release process? Sure. So Jenkins releases a new version every week. That Jenkins weekly release happens like clockwork. Boom, boom, boom. Every f 12 weeks, we choose a new baseline of the weekly release and use that as the stable version for LTS release dot one, dot two, dot three, and dot four. Four weeks, four weeks, four weeks. So 2.492.1 released recently. Four weeks from now, we'll release dot two. Four weeks after that, dot three, and then we start the cycle again. Starting the cycle again. That's a, a, a nice way to put it. Ho and you mentioned it was a Freudian slip, I think. You said a dot four. Hopefully we don't do dot fours. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I shouldn't but, have mentioned a dot four because but that's, okay. that's not typical. It is. That is very atypical. But it does happen. Mm -hmm. So let's just go ahead and get into the release notes for this release. Now, if you've not taken a look at the release notes, I'm zoomed in on the site. This is the reason why it looks a little bit weird. Uh, you'll go up into... Uh, you'll see download if you're zoomed out completely, but in my case, since I'm zoomed in, download. Here's stable and weekly. Mark was talking about the weekly. We want to focus on the change log for stable. And right here at the top is 492.1. Uh, so far, taking a look at the health of this, 20 people are happy and no bad ones. That's good. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look at the upgrade guide in just a minute. Now, for a, this being a dot one, um, it's what I consider a medium. But there were actually yeah. some big things. I mean, there weren't there weren't a lot of items. But yeah, for me, I'd even call it a, almost a small. A small. It's, right. It's this is not huge. Okay. Absolutely. Now the, there are some really nice features in it, but in terms of total count of changes, it's it's not a huge count. And one other thing that I'll call out here, since there's only one of them today, uh, changes since 492. That means in 493 or 494 or whatever. This item was backported from one of the weeklies to make it into the dot one. So there was just one item. Sometimes you'll see three, five, eight, but today just dot one. Right. Or, or just a single one, I should say. Too many ones. Uh, so is this anything we even need to be concerned about? No, it's not. That's actually a, that's purely a test artifact. We only included it here mm -hmm. because we needed to have something there. Okay. So it's just a test artifact. No user would care about that. Good. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at all the notable changes since 479.3. Oh, we knew you so long ago. Mm -hmm. Major enhancements. Disabling the Yahoo UI interface by default. I think that's the key part there, by default. Right. This is, and this is a great, great achievement. Uh, this LTS has removed the usage of Yahoo UI. Yahoo UI was an old JavaScript library on which we depended heavily. It was used in many, many plugins, but it had not been maintained for many, many years. And JavaScript libraries that are unmaintained for many years are, are, are not a good thing. So we wanted to get rid of it. So at this release, it's disabled, but with a switch that you could turn it on. 12 weeks from now, it will be removed completely. And that removal took out 80,000 lines of JavaScript. Yes, 80,000 lines removed 12 weeks from now. 80,000 lines of JavaScript. That's an awful lot of JavaScript that's gone. And that's a good thing, right? We don't want to carry around baggage that we don't need. So congratulations to Jenkins Project contributors that over the course of multiple years reached the point of doing this thing. This is step one. Step two will be in 12 weeks. So now's a good time to actually take a look at the upgrade guide because you were talking about it's disabled by default. Right. What if I've written a plugin that used Yahoo UI? Yeah, that's, let's look and see what the upgrade guide guides us on. Okay, so it says it's disabled by default. 
good phrasing. If you need to re-enable it, you need to set a system property or a startup property. That's how I do it. Mm -hmm. And big, long, ugly equals false. Correct. Right. That's that's basically it. Try to not re-enable it. But if you know you've written a plugin that you're using Yahoo UI, this is it. But this is also your fair warning. Unless something changes in 12 weeks, Yahoo UI is gone, gone. Right. And and really, that that escape hatch there is is a usable escape hatch, but you need to rework your plugin to not use you, Yahoo UI. We did it. You've, there are lots of examples now in the Jenkins project of changes that were made to get to remove Yahoo UI. You can refer to those examples. Yep. And since we're here in the upgrade guide anyway, since there's only one other item. Mm -hmm. Used to, you could configure agent protocols. Now it's, why, why in the first place should we have done that? That's a different conversation. Uh, but now it's just, you can't do it at all. Yeah, well, and, and it's, it's a, this is a smart thing, right? The, the agent protocols were configurable, but configuring them was actually nonsensical. It didn't make any sense to configure agent protocols. Uh, that facility is now removed. If you want to not allow agents to connect, you disable the port. That's easy. Uh, disabling protocols, they've been stable for so long. Jesse Glick was exactly right. Let's stop doing things with con allowing you to configure individual protocols. Okay. So now, just so now, there is a there is an attribute of this. We had a complaint from a, a couple of users saying, "Hey, mm -hmm. my configuration as code stopped because I still had agent protocols in my config." This upgrade will be updated probably over the next day or two to note that if you really want to allow configuration as code to continue with this warning, there is a setting in config as code that you can use to say, hey, allow deprecations to continue. But that's to me, use at your own risk. It's well, it's I think it's unwise because if a if a setting is deprecated in configuration as code and you're managing your configuration as code, you should get that setting out of there, not just accept a warning on your production Jenkins controller. Okay. So anyway, there will be a, an update to this item right. from a documentation perspective, but exactly. that's it. Okay. All right. So Yahoo UI gone, agent protocol configs, read the upgrade guide. Mm -hmm. The second item, add command palette as a replacement for the search bar. Yeah. And this one even gets a blog post now on Jenkins. That oh, that's let's right. go look at it. Look at the blog post first or no, look at, let's look at the, let's look at the product first. The product the, first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting logged in here. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I have here, that is 479. Oh, that is not. This is 479.3, I believe it is. Yes. Right. Uh, and we see the standard search bar, and we could search for things, like I don't know, something like that. It finds agent one. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. But now, in 492.1, notice we don't have the search box. We just have search or command K. Right. In my case, or Control K, right. and now you get this nice, debatable. I'll leave nice. I'm a mod, I'm not a modal person, so I'll, you know and, I'll go with and, that. And yet, for search, I am a modal person. Oh, so. fair enough. And it sees Agent One and does that. And that's actually even a better solution. Let me because if I did that over here, I just do the same thing. Oh, you know what? I was going too fast. Let's do this. So if I would have selected that. Oh, it's still the same thing. So I'm actually getting a better user experience because it dropped me right into where I wanted to be. Right. Versus here, I'm having to go in one click again, which isn't a big deal. But So what was the reasoning for this? And I guess what you were saying, the blog post is probably the better thing yeah, to take a look at. Let's actually go read it and see what, what the blog post says. Okay. And that was Yon, pretty... Oh, right there. Right, new way Good. to search. Great. Brand new search experience. Calling command palette which everybody else calls it a command palette. So, okay, that's good. Right. We, we're not reinventing terms. Yeah, yes. Right, exactly. Um, searching for jobs, build, settings, whatever, makes it faster. Now, the search is still basically the same under the hood. Right. Right. I mean, the, yeah. the search itself it, hasn't and, changed and from that's, that. And that's a target of future improvement. Right. Yes, there's still so at this point, there. It's, it's basically just getting that UI change. Now, we did Correct. see that one change when I searched for agent. I got a different 
end goal there, but you know, that was fine for me. Uh, and it's just located in the nav bar, but again, command K, control K, off you go. Right, and and I like I like Jan's point here that full screen search experience meaning because it's modal, it actually shows you more. Okay. On the page, right. Yeah. So now now for your system with relatively small things, yeah, not a problem on ci.jenkins.io. I like it a lot. Yeah, because if I come back here, I'm just stuck to this. Right. Exactly. The the just the this drop down. Right there. Exactly. Whereas here, I. Now I've got a You've little got more, more real with. estate to view it. Yep. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Now wait a second, Darren. Let's go back. Do that again. Let's mm. do the comparison because I think there is. Notice that Manage Jenkins is here. Yep. And back in the other one. I just get Manage. Oh, so I just get the manage. slot. Okay. So yeah. all right. So whereas the command palette gives me some hint of the type of thing I'm seeing because it gives me an icon. Right. The old search does not. Right. Got it. It's just a basic text drop down right exactly okay. pick one based on what you know the text should be okay good and escape by the way what the reason that that's disappearing is escape or let me see if i can do this or if you just click away from there mm -hmm. it right goes away okay cool so that is add command pilot and then refine and modernize the appearance of several pages now when it says several pages it's just several literally three i think that i ran into right and in this case i think users will this is a this is for me at least a, a show that hey Jan and Tim and others are very serious about making the UI look good, but it means they do these kinds of small refinements. Right, and I'm not even going to show you because I didn't set up any jobs for this. If you want to understand what it is, take a look at the pull request. They gave good snapshots before and afters. You can see what it is. It's right. it's nothing. It's it's the way you said it is good. It's a refinement. It is. It's, it's and, not a and, wholesale change. And we're deeply grateful for refinements, right? That's that's how you keep things healthy is by a small and steady pace of refining. Right. Uh, add icons to command palette. That goes along with what we, we just saw. saw. That, right? That's good. That's right. Turkish translations. I, I can't read those, so that's fine. Right. That's, that's good. But that also tells me something uh, interesting that we have Turkish usage. Right. So I'm saying that probably right. we incorrectly, have, we and have, I apologize. We but. have Turkish speakers. Yeah. Speakers of, of the Turkish language that are using Jenkins, and we've got one active maintainer at least that is continuing to contribute translations. Cool. Modernized combo box component. Again, that sort of falls back. Probably I put it in the same modernized. Right. It's a nice thing. refinement. Yeah. Notification when a scheduling a build fails. I read the ticket on this or the uh -huh. issue on this. Right. Uh, it was an interesting bug. I'll put it mm -hmm. that way. Right. It, it's it's classified as an enhancement. It felt more like a bug once I understand understood what was going on. But anyway, if it yeah. doesn't schedule, now it tells you that it didn't schedule. Right. And and I, I actually like the the visual hints that come from when I schedule a build, there's a visual cue that tells me it was scheduled. And and likewise now if there's a failure, there's a visual cue. Hey, there was a failure. Variation on a theme, a clearer error message for the CLI when the default WebSocket isn't working. That was a very interesting edge case. Mm -hmm. uh, agents offline and online can be now influenced by the offline cause. Again, this is sort of, again, a clarification because it would just say couldn't connect. It says it nicer than that. But now it says why better. Right. Giving, giving good hints. Hey, the agents are offline. Better suggestions for this reason. Retaining user generated offline. Yep. Okay. Again, that's good. If, if you're managing a, a fleet of agents, it's nice to, to have better hints about those. Yep. I allow all mutable list subclasses. There was one extra one that was missed, which was good. From well, Java 11 though, right? This this is how old? Well, the, the, the list classes that were introduced in Java 11, 11 is why right. it says 11. So, True. And, and for me, it was an interesting discussion to read in the pull request as various people assessed which of these really matter and which don't? Why would you use them? So Jenkins remoting is is an interesting place for these kinds of things. Avoid printing the same stack trace multiple times when file persistence fails. So I'm trying to write, I'm trying to write, stack, stack, stack. Right, exactly. <laughs> nice uh, race condition effectively, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, add a password validation that existing users cannot create a password of less than 14 characters when it's running in FIPS mode. 
No. Right. And now the Jenkins project doesn't, doesn't support, support Jenkins in FIPS mode. But Correct. But it's still, FIPS mode may eventually be a thing. Right. Stop allowing configuration of the agent protocols list. We talked about that That's over in the upgrade we notes. Talked about from the upgrade guide, right? Upgrade Windstone in order to get Jetty to 14. Right. And there no no major things. It's just healthy for us to keep keep our version of Jetty current with major Jetty with the, the Jetty releases. Right. Bug fixes, just a handful of interesting bug fixes. Fix scrolling with a keyboard, that was very interesting. Another one of those weird race conditions. Right, like, right, exactly. It's, it's amazing the number of places UIs have fun and interesting challenges. Uh, we'll just spin through the rest of these. Let's get down here. Fix end of life operating system monitor that showed 2099. Um, yeah, it's okay. So I, I, let's put it this way I still won't be on this earth. I mean, it's possible. Medical science is getting a lot better, uh -huh. but I would be 130 some odd years old. So, you know, I probably won't be around. Um, I don't think any Linux maintainers today would be around. Well, some maybe. I mean, it's only 70, yeah, well, so, five so years the, away. So this bug was really obnoxious in that sense. Yeah, the yeah. first day of a warning, it showed the wrong date. Because you certainly will be alive. We fully expect you to be alive when Ubuntu 20 reaches end of life within mm -hmm. the next 12 or 14 months. Right. That right. one I so, am, yes, but so, not 29. And, yeah. and there were cases where if you cho happened to be on exactly the right day, you would get this 2099 telling you the wrong date. If you want to go take a look at a very interesting piece of code fix, go, go through the issue and go down to the pull request. Right. It was a very interesting fix. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm ignoring values with incorrect types when deserializing. Uh, that just seems like, okay, it's not right, so it doesn't mean somebody went in and hacked the XML file, and now we're just dumping it on the floor instead of trying to resolve it and possibly crashing. I yeah, didn't look it, at it's data, you know, data, data trustworthiness, data yeah. verification, right? Be, be sure you're, you trust your data, that you're safe with it. Okay. Well, that's actually it. So I think going back to what you are saying, yeah, this probably feels more small for a dot one than... A lot of, like 479.1 was not this small. There was a right, lot in 479 right. because that had Spring Security 6 and it had all the other things that came along with that. So, but that's it. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Not for the release. Now, let me bring this up. You just got back a couple of days ago from the Jenkins Contributor Summit. Anything you want to say from that? Oh, yeah. We had, we had a great experience. Thanks to everyone who attended. Uh, 31st of January, 2025, in Brussels, Belgium, Beta Cowork donated a space for us, Software in the Public Interest donated funding for us, and CloudBase donated funding for us for 24 Jenkins contributors to gather together. We met for a day and reviewed the status of the project and then talked about where to go next. And it was a great, great session, amazing work. Thanks to everyone who was there. We'll do a blog post probably early next week to give a summary for others and look forward to really great things coming out as a result of that contributor summit. So be on the lookout for that blog post once it comes out. Mm -hmm. We'll be back in four weeks. I have the date for that. You know, this is a great thing about February, especially when it's a 28 day month. We'll be back on March. The What is today? The fifth? Sixth. Oh, wait. Sixth. Thank you. Yeah. And wow. we'll be back in 28 days. We'll back in 28 days on the 6th. Yep. Same time, same YouTube channel. We won't have on Batman and Robin suits. We just, it just won't happen. It won't, it won't happen. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching. And uh, if you do us a favor though, if you haven't subscribed to the Clubby's TV channel, go ahead and do that. We would greatly appreciate it. And we will talk to you again in four weeks. Thanks everybody. Have a great rest of your week.